Hello and welcome back. I'm Joseph Hoffman. Today it's time for another sight reading challenge. Let's come take a look at your first sight reading challenge card. Here's sight reading challenge card number one. I'd like you to get in the habit of always checking first your clef and time signature before you even think about the notes. So what do we have? That's right, this is treble clef, 4-4 four, four time signature. So we'll count four beats per measure. Number two, let's try the rhythm together while counting the beat out loud. And then let's use our advanced counting system. So we'll say one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Now some people like to leave off the ands if you don't need them. You will need them here. One and two and three, four. We could go like that. But for today, let's, let's put in all of the ands. All right, tap this rhythm and count the beat with me. Ready, go. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Great. Now let's identify the steps, skips, and repeats. You're getting pretty good at this by now. So let's try it together. Try and keep up. Ready? We'll say start, repeat, step down, repeat, step down, skip up, skip down. Good. Now let's identify the letter name of each note. Can you tell me the letter name of this note? If you said A sharp, you're correct. Now what about this note? If you said A sharp, you're correct. Remember, one rule about sharps is that if a sharp is in line with this space note, it applies to any other A on that same space. So we have A sharp, A sharp, then what do you see next? If you said G sharp, you're correct. Then another G sharp, then what do you see here? If you said F sharp, you're correct. Then back up to A sharp. And then what do we finish on? If you said F sharp, you're correct. Now it's time to try and play this on the piano. First, you're going to need to find your hand position, which you'll do by looking for the first note and checking and seeing if there's a finger number, which there is. So you'll place finger four of your right hand, since it's in treble clef, right hand finger four on A sharp. And then you'll need your next finger on G sharp and your next finger on F sharp. Those are the only three notes we'll need for this melody. So get your fingers in position, press pause on the video and see if you can play this melody without my help. Count the beat out loud while you do it and then press play when you're ready to have me show you the correct answer for playing it, which hopefully will match what you just played. Press pause and then play when you're ready to go on. Here's the answer to sight reading challenge card number one. I've placed my right hand finger four on the nearest A sharp above middle C. And here's what it sounds like. Is that what it sounded like when you played it? If so, great, you're ready to go on. If not, just rewind and try it again on your own and then check your answer. Let's try sight reading challenge card number two. Remember, first is always check your clef and time signature. What do you have this time? That's right, we have bass clef, so we'll be using the left hand and this time a five four time signature. So we'll be counting five beats per measure. Let's try it right now. Since we don't have any eighth notes, we don't need to count the ands. Let's just count one, two, three, four, five for each measure. Remember these half notes will take up two beats, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. All right, let's try to count the beat out loud while we tap the rhythm. Here we go together, count with me and tap. Ready, go. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Great. Now, can you tell me the steps, skips, and repeats? Try it by yourself once. Go.
The correct answer is start, step up, step up, step down, step up, repeat, step up, step up. If that matches what you said, good job. If not, just rewind and try it again. Now, let's try to say the letter names of each note with any flats or sharps that you see. Can you tell me the letter names for these first four notes? Ready, go. Now let's pause for a minute. If you're stuck on this note, remember that ground G is this bottom line of the bass clef. So what's a step up from G? If you said A, you're correct. And actually, we should say A flat. Now, try to go on by yourself. The correct answer for these four notes is A flat, B flat, C, B flat. Remember, the flat's still alive through the bar line, or up to the bar line, I should say. Now, can you tell me the names for these next four notes? The correct answer is C, C, D flat, E flat. Now it's your turn to try to play this sight reading challenge card on the piano. So, Place left hand finger five on this low A flat and try to play the notes. You're going to press pause to try it on your own and then press play when you're ready to watch me show you the correct answer. Okay, here's the answer to sight reading challenge card number two. If this is middle C, I've got to find the A flat down here, not the A flat nearest middle C, but the next one down. With finger five on my A flat, I play this. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. If that's what it sounded like when you played it, you're ready to go on to the next challenge card. And here, my friends, is sight reading challenge card number three. Can you tell me the clef and time signature? The correct answer is treble clef, three, four, time signature. Let's tap the rhythm while we count the beat. Once again, no eighth note, so we only have to say one, two, three for each me measure. Get ready to tap with me while we count the beat. Ready, go. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Great. Now, can you do that by yourself? Try it. Tap and count the beat out loud. Good. Now, let's try to say the step skips and repeats together. We'll say start for the first note. Try it with me. Go. Start. Step down. Step down. Step down. Step down. Repeat. Skip up skip up. Good. Now let's try to say all the letter names together. Let's do it at the same time together. B flat, A flat, G, F, E flat, E flat, G, B flat. Good. Now, are you ready to try to play it? You're going to use right hand, since we're in treble clef, place finger five on a B flat. And then go ahead and get your other fingers ready. So let's look ahead. Let's see, you'll need finger four on an A flat. Then you'll need a G and an F and an E flat. Ah, do you know what pentascale that is? That's right, it's the E flat major pentascale. So go ahead and cover up that pentascale. Press pause and try to play this sight reading challenge card. Press play when you're ready to watch me give you the correct answer. For rhythm challenge card number three, we're in the E flat major pentascale. Here's what it would sound like. Is that what yours sounded like? If so, great, you're ready to go on. If not, just go back and try it again. All right, here's our last sight reading challenge card of the day. 
What is our clef and time signature? That's right, bass clef, 4-4 four, four time signature. Let's try tapping and counting the rhythm together. Actually, this time I'd like you to try it yourself first. Can you tap while you count the beat out loud? Good. Now let's try it together. Tap while we count the beat. Ready, go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Good. Now let's try to identify the steps, skips, or repeats. Ready, go. Start, repeat, repeat, repeat. Step down, step down, step down, repeat, step down. Now, next step is to try to say the letter names. Can you say them for me? Here we go. The correct answer is G, 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 F, E flat, D sharp, D, Remember, this is not D sharp because the sharp can't make it through this bar line. So we have D natural, or just D, C. Now, when we play this, something tricky is happening here. We actually have an enharmonic somewhere. What can you tell me about E flat and D sharp? Take a look at your piano and try to play just these two notes anywhere on the piano. Play E flat then D sharp, and tell me what you notice. Did you discover that they're actually the same note? So it looks like we're stepping down here, but it's really a trick. This note to this note, since they're enharmonic, is actually a repeat. Now, when you play this, you're, you'll discover that it's actually a song we've learned before in a past lesson. So my mystery challenge to you is place finger one on G and then play exactly what you see. Remember these two notes will be the same black key, E flat, D sharp, then you'll go to D natural, C. Try to play this while counting the beat and see if you can tell me what song it is. Press pause to try and figure it out, then press play when you're ready to have me show you the correct answer. For challenge card number four, since we're in the bass clef, I'm going to find the G nearest below middle C, and I've got to use my left hand finger one. Here's what it sounds like. Did you recognize that melody? That's right, it's Silver Birch Tree. Silver birch alone in the meadow. If you figured that out yourself, nice job. Nice work on today's sight reading challenge cards. To download these and many more sight reading cards to practice, just look for the complete materials for Unit 6 on our website. I'd love it if you practiced three or four sight reading cards every day. The whole point of practicing sight reading is to be able to see music on a score and play it on your first try. I want to make it so that later on, if you want to learn any new song, you just buy the sheet music, open it up, and boom, you can play it just by looking at the notes. If you do a little sight reading practice every day for long enough, eventually you'll be able to do just that. Well, that's all for today. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Hey chef, I got one for you. All right, I'm listening. Okay, what kind of music do planets sing? Planets? Hmm, uh, I don't know. Neptunes. <laughs> Scuba, your jokes are out of this world. Ha, <laughs> good one.